Okay, at the bottom of the deck so far, we do have the Eight of Wands, and that feels appropriate because in terms of dealing with the emotions, dealing with what's hidden, dealing with the shadow side of ourselves, it's opening up doorways, it's opening up pathways. I mean, I know personally myself, I feel much lighter, much clearer, much happier, and that makes the prospect of being creative feel a little bit better to me. And I'm not saying that I'm just about to like jump into some new project, but I am starting to feel the floodgates open. Excellent. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for your day, yes. Uh, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you in that moment, yeah? So, it is a Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Yes! Uh, we are getting through this week, y'all. Um, <clears throat> it has been a doozy. Uh, yesterday was a really interesting day. Um, uh, for my Patreoners, uh, I, I don't know if you were able to see the um, what I posted yesterday because I didn't post it as a text. I posted it as... Um, a video type thing uh, but for some of my patreons on, out there um, I did record a follow-up little vlog session um, after morning coffee yesterday um, but I wasn't able to get it released yesterday because my Wi-Fi went out and um, it was out for most of the day and then by the time it came back on I was not home um, and I didn't get home until really late so I decided to wait I'm gonna uh, so I will post that today um, uh, but it is a follow-up to more to morning coffee yesterday. Um, it goes a little bit a bit deeper into how this is all playing out within me personally. Um, and I will say, I will say that you know today I am feeling a lot better, a lot lighter. Um, I'm still kind of caution taking taking a bit of uh, caution here. I don't want to just like dive into anything, but <laughs> but I'm feeling a lot better, a lot lighter, and it's it's all due to the fact that I've been seriously processing what's going on. Um, and yesterday, in the follow-up video, in the follow-up vlog that I, I recorded, um, I finally admitted something that I didn't know that I needed to admit, um, but I was kind of, I guess you could say I was almost afraid of admitting this, but, um, you know, it was necessary, and I'll say it here um, so that you guys can understand, but then if you're over on Patreon in either the um, Inner Balance or the uh, Full Monty package, you'll be able to see this vlog that I posted, uh, or that I, that I recorded, but basically, it's I, I've come to the understanding of where my true resentment lies, and right now, I've sufficiently been able to work through a lot of the resentment for other people and I have a strong understanding of what uh, of of the situation interpersonally with other people. However, my resentment truly at this point lies with spirit. So that's what I get into in that in that blog post. So you guys over on Patreon, you will be able to see that today. Um, but moving on. Um, getting into a place where I could admit that, but not only admit that, because to be quite honest, admitting it wasn't the hardest thing to do. Um, but there is, I can feel like if any of you are still in that or are feeling that energy too, <laughs> three, 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 three on the counter. Um, if any of you are feeling that energy too, um, you may not recognize that it, you know, it's your resentment may lie with spirit, but also, um, given the nature of the new age community and the whole love and light aspect thing and about how being woke is all like gumdrops and rainbows. No, it ain't that shit, actually. Going through a spiritual enlightenment, going through an awakening, going through a spiritual transformation gets dark and ugly sometimes. And there are some things that come up that a lot of people wouldn't be, wouldn't want to admit or wouldn't want to share because then that doesn't fit into whole, into the whole love and light bullshit situation. And like, y'all, it ain't even like that, all right? 
this shit gets ugly and nasty at times. Um, now, that's not to say that that is an excuse to go out there abusing people or to go out there act a fool. But you are going to have your moments where you're going to have to admit some really ugly things to yourself or you're going to really, you're going to have to, you know, face some really, face some, I just heard, face some really tough decisions. Okay. So, um, I guess it's the stigma around that that caused me to kind of be apprehensive in, in fully admitting that to myself. But to be quite honest with you guys, once I admitted it, it's like the weight was lifted. Um, so I'm not going to go too deep into that because you, some of you have a video to watch, which really, we're really, we're not really going to talk about that, but the energies do feel a lot better today, at least for me. Um, and they feel a lot lighter. I am kind of in a little bit of a daze today. Like my head feels a little bit weird today. Um, <laughs> and I was talking to my friend, one of my dear friends about it this morning, just a little morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? Um, but um, he was saying how his head is feeling kind of a little weird too. Yeah, he's feeling a bit dazed. And yeah, I get that. I'm totally, I'm there, I'm down with that. Um, so, you know, depending on how you guys are feeling, take it easy. Yes? Um, we're not going to be doing happy hour tonight because I have some plans that I would like to um, uh, join. I would like to partake in. But we, I, I do want to do happy hour tomorrow. Um, so keep that in mind. Also, for those of you that are like that would want to get some merch, I do have merch available for the channel, including an official morning coffee mug. The link is in the description box below. However, I haven't gotten the URL all squared away just yet. So what you're going to need to do is copy and paste that link into your uh, into a web browser in order to get to the sh to the store right now. Okay, I know it's an extra step, but uh, at the moment that's all I can really do because. Because apparently the link that I got from from Shopify is not safe enough by YouTube. Like YouTube doesn't feel it safe enough, so I have to take extra steps to do that. So if you would like to get some merch right now, um, including your official morning coffee mug, which I don't even have yet, I got to get myself one. But um, the link is in the description box. Yes. All right, y'all. So let's get into today's reading. Um, we're sticking with the same deck. We've got the True Heart Intuitive Tarot. Yes, that we're working with. I think I'm just gonna work with this all week. Yeah, but I'm still gonna put it on display. And then we also have the Los Carabello deck for clarification. And as always, we will cross the Oracle Guidance Bridge when we get there, yeah? All right, kids, let's get into this and see what we've got for today. My spirit, please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of these situations, situationships, circumstances, places, and relationships in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. Did you hear Orion try uh, getting in on the prayer there? That was cute. <laughs> All right, y'all. Five shuffles. Here we go. One. Uh oh. This is two. This is three. This is four. And this is five. All right. All right, y'all. So let's see what have we got going on today. Or what do we want to talk about in this session here? What's going on with the collective? Oh, good. 
Oh, do I like to see that so far. We have two cards so far. I can only see one of them, but I like seeing the one that I can see right now. At the bottom of the deck is strength. This is definitely us building up some strength, doing the work we need to do, getting focused, getting honest with ourselves is what I just heard. Absolutely, 100%, because with that, wow, you guys, this is good. With that, we have the Queen of Cups, and this was the first card that I could see, okay? And I, I mean, I really like this. This is that representation of getting honest with ourselves, and how and why is that? Because with the Queen of Cups, we're talking about here, um, yes, emotional vulnerability is what I just heard, but also coming to terms with that, getting to the bottom of, the, of your emotions, understanding what it is that you are feeling, getting your emotions in check, getting emotionally balanced, getting emotionally secure, having an emotional foundation, and having emotional boundaries. With that Queen of Cups, this is so crazy, you guys. With the Queen of Cups, you do have justice. Now, for those of you who watched Queen Cups video two nights, two days ago, there's that justice. Why? Because a lot of what she was talking about was we're, we're bringing in justice for ourselves, but we're blocking it. Why? Because of resentment because we are doing things, because we don't, under, we don't fully understand what justice truly is for us. And I swear to God, you guys, I had just, I mean, it, the fact that, like, I, okay, here's the thing. Um, I talk about Queen Cup a lot <laughs> on my channel here, but that's because, I mean, I tend to do that. I tend to share the people that really resonate with me with you guys, because if it resonates with me, it's most likely going to resonate with you, with you guys on some level, because we're all in this collective. We're all in this together, right? Um, but I've been talking about her a lot lately because she's been really resonating with me and she's really the only one that I fully, truly resonate with when it comes to my spiritual path right now, right? My ascension journey right now. Okay. But even before we got to that live session, I was already kind of in an energy of adjusting how I communicate with spirit in terms of dealing with the things, with the pain from the past and the ways that people have hurt me and the ways that people have betrayed me and this, that, and the third, blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay, fine. But I've already been changing my, my mindset around it. And I, I don't even, it wasn't even really a thing. Like it wasn't like this big aha moment where I said, I'm going to change the way I look at this, or I'm going to change the way that I, that I, that I think about this, right? It's just gotten to a point where it's just like, all right, well, look, they did those things or that shit happened and okay, that's fine. Um, I don't really want to wish ill on them. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say, ah, I hope your house burns down or I hope your business fails and then, and then, and It's like, no, I mean, there, I recognize that there's a part of me that would be like, would really feel a little satisfied if, you know, shit hit the fan for certain situations. But at this point, it's like, you know what? It's not, it's not even about that anymore. Like, some shit happened, that's fine. All I really want is for me to give, to receive what it is I'm actually looking for or what it is I actually desire. Like, I'm not even trying to think about that, any, about those people or wish ill on anybody anymore. I just want to focus on me and I, so and focus on me and focus on bringing justice for myself in, in whatever way that looks. And I don't know how that's gonna look other than the fact that I'm praying for the things that I know that I want for myself. And that's exactly what Queen Cup was saying in terms of bringing in judgment, not judgment, justice for yourself. Now this is kind of a judgment situation because we're rising above here where we are, um, we're elevating, we're going to the next level, we're taking a step up, right? But this is what's bringing justice in for you. And what she was saying was how we don't recognize, we don't know what true justice is, is because in some cases, some people will go around and be like, you cheated on me, I hope you get cheated on, or this, that, and the third. But it's not about doing that. Instead, it's about praying for, instead of being, this is what she said, instead of praying for someone to be cheated on in return, instead, pray for it to bring someone into your life that would never do that to you. That is justice. So it seems that, and, and it, and I really feel like I want to explain this right now, I guess for those of you that didn't see this or whatever, but 
um, when we hold on to resentment, this is this, and I know I'm completely regurgitating what she said, but it's relevant to this situation, so I'm going to do it. Um, and I highly recommend if you have not watched this reading or watched this live session yet, or you don't know who Queen Cup is, although by now, for those of you that watch me regularly, y'all y'all know who she is. But um, if you don't know or you haven't watched this live session, I highly recommend that you do so. It's over on her channel. She's She goes by the name of Queen Cup. It should be the most recent thing she has up on her list as of right now. And today is the shit. What's today's date? I think the 15th of, a of April. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Ah, shit. I lost it. Okay, well, let's continue. Um, so we're bringing justice into our lives. Ah, yes. By holding on to resentment, okay, there's nothing that, that the divine can do to come in to balance the scales for you because you're, because the way the Queen's Cup described it was your low vibrational energy in terms of resentment is balancing out the low vibrational energy of whomever it is that hurt you. So there's nothing for the divine to do. But when you let go of that, when you pray for yourself to bring justice into your life in terms of what truly would help you, when you get to the bottom of your emotions, when you clear up your emotions, when you understand your emotions, when you understand your feelings, and when you let go of the resentment, that's when the scales can snap back. And now all of a sudden, spirit's got to come in and balance some shit out. And, that, and she was saying that's when people really get their karma. That's when you start to hear about through the grapevine or just randomly, oh, so-and-so went through some shit and you're like, damn, really? That sucks. But see, that, that, that didn't happen because you were involved with it. That happened because you let go. You were like, all right, you know what? That happened, but you know what? You, I, I'm, the, the scales are going to get balanced anyway, so like, enjoy that. But I'm going to go over here and I'm, and I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to work on my healing. I'm going to work on praying for and uh, working on uh, praying to the divine for what would be, bring justice into my life instead of sitting here wasting my time and my energy resenting you and wishing ill upon you because I want you to suffer too. You know what I mean? Like that's, but with this queen of cups energy and I just like, and look, it's queen cup. There she is right there. Queen cup. <laughs> but it's this queen of cups energy that represents getting to the bottom of your emotions, understanding what it is that you're feeling, healing, going through that emotional healing process to reach a sense of emotional balance and security. And I even want to say satisfaction, but also emotional awareness. That's also helping us become much stronger strength. Okay. And that is what's bringing justice into our lives. Ooh, y'all. Okay. So, let's get one more pull from this deck, and then we'll get into some clarification. So, what else do you want to say about this situation, please, Spirit? Interesting. We have a lot of major arcana here today, okay? Um, so the message of today is really about mastering your emotions. At the bottom of the deck now, you do have the Nine of Pentacles. Sorry, the sun is shining through here. You have the Nine of Pentacles, which is representing autonomy, sovereignty, standing on your own, uh, and a payoff, work, payoff for work done very, very well, you know, receiving the rewards of working hard, okay? So it's really interesting because I noticed this morning, I even noticed this yesterday, and maybe this has been an effect of the extended amount of work that we've all been doing over the last few months because what the way things came to a head, I guess, yesterday or the last two days, it may very well be an effect or a product of what we've all been going through over the last few months in terms of what I've been calling an ego death, okay? Um, but it was very interesting to me to notice how quickly the energy shifted once I really spent, like I spent a good two days, 
yesterday and the day before, really, really working on this, really working on being very conscious of this, really working on doing the energetic work, uh, specifically working with my chakra system, okay, in, um, in order to heal from this. But it was very, it was interesting for, to me to see how quickly things changed. And even yesterday, we were, I was talking about how, you know, we had that Eight of Pentacles energy come out, which was talking about needing to do the consistent work day to day to day to day to day. Like this is, it's not going to be easy in the sense of like the fact that, you know, you can sit down and meditate for an hour and boop, you're good. Like, no, it's not like that. This is going to take some consistent craftsmanship work on a daily basis. So, but then the energy just shifted right away. But I, again, I feel like that was a product of us doing all of this work for an extended amount of time, like over the last, throughout the fall and winter season. Okay. But here, now, we've gone from the, whoa, you guys, we've gone from the Eight of Pentacles yesterday to the Nine of Pentacles now with the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Underneath the Ten of Pentacles is the Six of Wands, the Tower, yeah, the Two of Cups, and the Ten of Swords, okay? This is the result. This is the product of the hard work that we have done here. Ten of Swords representing the ending of a really, really painful situation. I am also hearing relationship, but why I'm hearing relationship? An end of a painful relationship because it's an end of the painful reality of the painful relationship with yourself. The Two of Cups and the Tower. And now you're able to have a much better relationship with yourself and maybe even with the divine, quite frankly. Okay, following, continuing back, we have the Six of Wands, victory, recognition. And maybe this isn't, rec this isn't necessarily recognition by your peers or the people around you. Actually, it could be your peers. If they know what's going on around you, like if they know what's going on for you right now. And definitely recognition within our circle here, right? But this is also recognition from the divine. Like literally the divine is standing up and saying, I see you, boo. Oh shit, you really did that, didn't you? Yup. Yup. All right, go ahead and pat yourself up back on the back, honey. Mm -hmm. Now here, look at what we have here that's come out in the shuffle. First card out was the emperor. Second card out was the moon, okay? So this to me is talking about really standing up and mastering your emotions, mastering your life cycles, mastering what was hidden inside you. I also feel like this has to do with the feminine cycles that the moon represents. I think it was in it was in that video that I was watching from Gigi Young, which I shared yesterday in the store in my community tab. It, talk, it talks about the sun and everything like that. If you guys haven't checked that out, I understand, I understand that it's three hours long. Um, I watched it in full, but I watched it, I think it was like a Saturday or a Sunday. Like I literally had nothing to do and I was feeling down in the dumps. And like I said in the past, Gigi Young, I find her very comforting. So I sat there and watched the whole thing and it was perfect because by the end of it, I felt so much lighter and so much better. I understand it's three hours long, but I highly recommend that you guys check it out, watch it in installments or whatnot, whatever, I don't know. But in that video, she talked, I think, I think she talked about something about the moon. It's this, yes, it's what the moon truly is. And the moon holds the memories of feminine cycles. Yes, I'm getting that correctly. The moon holds the memories of feminine cycles that have happened within human reality or in, in human society. And I feel like for some of us here, and so that, and she was saying, so that's why you see certain feminine figures with the crescent moon on their third eye. That means that they have passed the initiation or passed the, yeah, they passed the initiation in terms of the feminine cycles that the moon stored with about for, for their soul and the, those memories for that individual. And you don't have to be a woman to deal with that. That you can, I mean, we all have masculine and feminine energy, so that could resonate, that, that could be applicable. Like men can go through that too. But it's for the moon, it's specifically the feminine cycles and, and, and all that stuff. And, and, and like when we, when we were more of like a matriarchal society instead of the patriarchal society that we are right now. Okay, fine. Somehow, for some people, that's going to resonate 
in some way. Um, I, and, and that's coming up here, but see, I, I, I feel like I'm not really getting anything specific there. Maybe I'll get something specific when we clarify, but um, the point here is mastering the emotions, overcoming your emotions, and being in greater control of your reality, the emperor and the moon, okay? And also mastering what was hidden within you, yes? Okay, I really hope you guys are following along because I'm like spitfire right now, and so I hope this is making sense. Let's get into some clarification here. Five shuffles. One. Yeah. We're going to clarify the moon and the queen of cups. This too. And maybe even justice here. Okay. And this is three. Four. And five. All right, y'all. Let's start with the moon. All right. Okay, at the bottom of the deck so far, we do have the Eight of Wands, and that feels appropriate because... <laughs> That feels appropriate because um, in terms of dealing with the emotions, dealing with what's hidden, dealing with the shadow side of ourselves, uh, and coming into coming to terms with it, becoming uh, getting in greater control of our lives, the emperor here, it's opening up doorways, it's opening up pathways. I mean, I know personally myself, I feel much lighter, much clearer, much happier, and that makes the prospect of being creative or being open or trying something new or getting something done or something like that, that makes that feel a little bit better to me. Like, and I know I've been, I, I personally have felt really lethargic, really very unmotivated a lot over the last few months recently, and a lot of other, a lot of you guys have felt that way too. And I'm not saying that I'm just about to like jump into some new project, but I am starting to feel the floodgates open. I am starting to feel that energy move in that direction where I can start to be like, yeah, let's figure out like, what do we want to do? What do we want to create? What do we want to bring to fruition? This, that, and the third, right? Excellent. All right. So let's go a little bit deeper in this moon energy here. Take this one. <laughs> I love it, you guys. I really love it, you guys. This is excellent. Only two cards, but it's two really beautiful cards. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Two of Swords. And the Two of I did see the Two of Swords earlier at the bottom of the deck, uh, in the beginning of the reading, actually, from the first pull, when we had the Queen of Cups and Justice come out. Um, but I didn't really talk about it. But what it was talking about there, and I feel like it's talking about the same thing here. The, oh, my... Oh, my stars. Look at this. So the two of swords here is talking about going within and following your intuition and seeing things from an internal perspective, not focusing on the external, right? And look at what's on this two of swords. There's that crescent moon of which we were talking about with the moon here in terms of some in, uh, uh, dealing with or going through the initiation of... Um, I guess I want to say reconciling. I don't know if I'm saying it perfectly correct, but I think I feel like there's something that I'm missing in terms of this theory, in terms of the moon and how it it holds the memories of you know some sort of feminine cycles and whatnot. But when you go through, we'll say when you go through that initiation, when you handle that, when you when you face that and you overcome it and, and you graduate from that lesson, you get that symbol of the crescent moon on your third eye, right? Well, that's here we go. There is that, right? So some of that is definitely applicable to this situation. I don't feel like that's going to resonate with everyone, but I do feel like there are some here that are going to resonate with that because I hadn't I hadn't even thought about that since I watched Gigi's video, which was over this past weekend. So like the fact that it came up now, it must be relevant to some people. At the bottom of the deck, underneath the Two of Swords, you do have the Three of Swords. 
But then you have the Knight of Swords in reverse to the Six of Wands, to the Knight of Cups, even to the Queen of Wands and the Fool. See, there's that energy of feeling like getting back out there or getting back in the ring or starting to try something new, maybe try a new creative project because you're finding a greater sense of self-love for yourself. Ace of Cups, yes? But to explain this part here, you do have satisfaction, contentment, and emotional happiness. You do have success and victory and recognition. But you have that because instead of fighting against the situation, Knight of Swords in reverse, you fought for it. You fought to heal it. You fought to change your ways is what I just heard. And thus, that brings an ending to the cycle the world, and an ending to this mental entrapment, Eight of Swords. That's what you dealt with in terms of this moon energy. That's what you dealt with in terms of getting in control, mastering this lesson for yourself, getting to this place of emotional awareness and emotional stability and foundational aspects of your emotions that are bringing justice into your life. Y'all, let's talk about the Queen of Cups then, because I'm definitely feeling and hearing that we want to clarify this Queen of Cups energy. So what is this Queen of Cups, please, Spirit? What is this Queen of Cups, please? Okay, look at that, where we circle right back around to that Eight of Wands. Clear and open energy. The doors are open. I am feeling like creative potential is starting to flood through now. Um, this is interesting. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Page of Cups, which is in reverse. And then we have the Knight of Swords again. So basically what this is saying to me, you guys, is that we've given up a sense of emotional immaturity. And I don't want that to sound derogatory. I'm not trying to insult anybody. And I'm definitely not trying to say that this was a bad thing. It wasn't. What, this, what we mean by, what spirit means by when we say emotional immaturity, it's just a level of emotional development. It literally seems like we've upgraded. We've taken a step up. We've evolved. This could be a moment where we can physically pinpoint a moment when our souls have gone through an evolution, have grown up a bit. That's wonderful. Knight of Wands is the activation. Again, Knight of Swords is the energy of fighting for truth, honesty, clarity, and emotional stability. The Knight of Swords energy feels like that energy of facing the situation firsthand taking the situation on, not running away from it anymore, not trying to stay in, in, a, in a, an emotionally immature state. Instead, we're doing the work to shine the light, to be activated, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, to get this emotional stability and foundation, foundational aspect in hand or in check, I guess you could say. Beautiful. One last thing that I want to look into, just because I'm curious, is, is justice. And I want to see what justice is being brought into our lives in terms of this situation. I am going to change decks. Bear with me. Um, I'm wanting to use the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot deck for this. Um, and actually, Spirit is saying that I need to cleanse the deck, so I'm going to do that. So just bear with me for a few moments here, guys. Um... But yeah, it, it, it is really interesting how, and I guess maybe it's because we've been in this energy for so long. Um, for Yeah, Spirit just said for an extended period. It's so interesting how you can be in, this, in these energies of trying to heal and fix things and dealing with all kinds of crazy emotions and, and memories and things from the past that you haven't necessarily dealt with yet. And then all of a sudden one day, boop, you're done. 
And I mean, I don't say that to say we're completely 100% done. Like, you know, this is a constant evolutionary process. So like, it's gonna continue. There are going to be deeper levels and more to experience, more to learn from, more to grow. Uh, but it just, it, 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 in terms of this cycle here, it's just like, it literally was all of a sudden, fear no more is kind of what I want to say. All right, let's give this five shuffles here. One. Two. Three. I definitely do want to say, I want to point out yet again how grateful I am for this community that we have for and how blessed I feel to be able to not only connect with you guys, but to vibe with you guys. This is five. And I feel really blessed to know that we're not alone, that I'm not crazy, that you're not crazy, and that we can prove that to each other on a daily basis. I really, really, really appreciate you guys. Like this, this is beautiful. Thank you for joining me on this journey. And thank you for allowing me to pick your brains in terms of this journey, <laughs> right? Excellent. All right, let's look at justice. What justice is coming in for us right now in terms of these healing energies we've been through? Cool. Oh my God, you guys. Turn it, leave it upright. Okay, so. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me do a little bit of this. Manifesting my dreams and minding my business, y'all. That's the message of today. Ew. Wait. Oh, that's icky. Whatever. I've been drinking from it, but there you go. Manifesting my dreams and minding my business. Thank you, Alexis Rakin. Rakin? Rakin? I'm so sorry if I butcher. She, I, she's a fantastic artist. I don't think she... I think these mugs have been discontinued, unfortunately. I bought this mug when I was back in Brooklyn months and maybe over a year ago. And I, I think it was only a limited supply because I don't think... I, I haven't been able to find them lately. But... That phrase is so incredibly perfect. Why? You have the Eight of Swords, yet again. You also have that with the Ace of Swords. Now, when the Ace of Swords came out, it kind of fell reversed. And that feels like the past energy because now it's upright, because now we have the knowledge, we have the understanding, we have the truth and the clarity to cut ourselves free from this mental prison, right? That came out here. So we do have the Eight of Swords twice. But look at what we also have. We have the Ten of Cups, Pentacles, excuse me, not the Ten of Cups. We have the Ten of Pentacles and none other than the Queen of Cups. Look at that. With the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is the justice that's coming in for us right now. Justice is being served because we are gaining the emotional clarity, understanding, and foundation and cleansing and clearing that is bringing the awareness into our lives that is allowing us to cut ourselves free from the mental confinement, from the even the emotional confinement, right? That effectively ends the cycle and brings this lesson to a close. Nine and ten of pentacles. This is so freaking awesome, you guys. We have a lot of eights here. We have the eight of swords twice. Yes. We also have the eight of wands and the eight of cups. That's four eights right there. Okay. And I just saw 38, 18 on the counter. Three, eight, one, eight. Lots of eights. Eight is the number of infinity. Eight is the number of, uh, uh, of balance, yes, but also of abundance. 
And it seems the message here is with this emotional work that we are doing, it's bringing greater balance and abundance into our lives. Why? Because we are getting clear on the truth of the situation and what really brings justice into our lives. Beautiful. I'm having trouble, kids. I don't know what Oracle deck to use. Okay, we're gonna go with the Crystal Mandala. I mean, I use that deck so much. I've used this deck for years, since the very beginning of starting my channel, um, but it's still relevant to this day. So like, why the fuck not? <laughs> All right, here we go. So, Oracle Guidance, please. Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. Four. five. All right, y'all. So closing Oracle guidance for today. Card number 21, Ascended Master, Lady Nada, and Rotocrosite, Sensitivity. Okay. We bring you the blessing of sensitivity. Being sensitive in this world can be tough sometimes, yet your sensitivity is essential if you are to con consciously feel and work with subtle energy. Receiving and sending telepathic transmissions, feeling and releasing energetic cords, tingling with exquisite blessings of divine love, sensing the whispers of divine grace, and seeing the luminous sparkling particles of life force dancing wildly, and the beauty of shimmering auric fields in dazzling and colorful display. To be given the gift of sensitivity to perceive the energetic world is like being invited to the most special and extraordinary exhibit of sacred art. You may have struggled with your sensitivity, found it difficult to bear during times of emotional suffering, yet you have a great gift and it will bring you so much joy. If you are learning to develop your sensitivity, we will help you so you too can feel uplifted as you witness the energetic beauty of creation. Yeah. Yeah, kids. That is absolutely it. Mm. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. There you have it, guys. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading or for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.